Hello girlfriends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Now can you believe that I did this entire face of makeup for $20? So this is from Daiso's makeup line called Your Glam. It was launched in April 2019 in Osaka and it's finally in Singapore! So a lot of people have been raving about it because it's affordable and they've got a really extensive range and look at this! Okay, keep watching. We'll show you what we used. So this is the CC Cream and it's supposed to be very lightweight, help to cover your dullness and your pores and we got the colour Natural Beige. Just realised that their logo is sexy and healthy makeup. <laughs> it's quite small right? It smells like regular foundation. Oh, that is not my colour. That is quite dark. This looks nothing like the swatch. It's a very watery CC cream. This is still my favourite method of application now. <laughs> Alright, let's try this out. Wow. It is evening out the skin tone. And now that it's like blending out, it actually doesn't look too dark at all. It's actually really natural and nice. Compared to the ones that I've tried, I feel like this one has like not a lot of coverage. But I think if you're just looking for a skin tint, it's really quite nice. Like I feel like this side of my face now, the skin looks quite healthy and glowy. Okay, now we're gonna try the colour corrector, the concealer on this side, and then we'll put this over it. Alright, this is their concealer palette and they have three shades. They have the green, pink and yellow. I have with me the green one and I am also today blessed with a spot to test it on because green is very good for covering up red spots. So let's see. Okay, this one smells a bit like Crayola. It's not too bad though, this concealer is covering it. Okay, it also feels very waxy and liquidy. Kind of like, you know, the CC cream just now where it was very, very runny. Even though this is solid, this does feel quite oily and waxy. Yeah. It provides an okay amount of coverage. It's quite blendable. And shade-wise, I think it's quite okay for me. Pretty decent amount of coverage as well. So, very impressed at the moment. <laughs> okay, let me put on the CC cream on the rest of my face. Wow, that's so makeup. I think the CC cream is really very nice. Sometimes I realise that CC creams, they have a grey or white cast on a lot of people. Whereas this one is like a very natural colour. So for the CC cream, I think overall the effect, I really like it. I would give it like an 8.5 out of 10. But if you're talking more like CC cream and you're expecting some coverage, I don't really think it hits that. I would give that maybe a 5. But it's a, still a really nice skin tint and I do like the effect. And like, my skin looks dewy! For the concealer, I think I would give it maybe a 6 out of 10 because it kind of does the job but I think if you need some serious coverage, I don't think that's going to do it. This was very very red and it's pretty covered. Like maybe about like 70% covered. So I think it's actually not too bad. Like if you just need very little touch up, it's, it'll do the job. So far, there's only like $4 on my face. If you consider the fact that I haven't used up the whole thing, it's maybe like 40 cents. <gasps> that's impressive! Okay, come. Let's try this. The Stick Cheek. So this is a cream blush and the shade is Pure Pink. I love cream blushes and I love cream blushes that are in stick form. This is Pure Pink but I feel like there's a bit of coral in here. Oh, that's so pretty! I don't know how that's gonna look on me. Like, I feel like it's a bit too pink. Okay, so let's try this. It's a little bit difficult to blend actually for a cream blush, like it's a bit sticky and it drags on the skin. Okay, I do think that it takes a little bit to build up, but once you do build it up, it's actually not too bad. In terms of colour, it's a very basic colour. I mean, it's nice, quite sheer. Like you see, there's still a bit of a sheen and the colours like coming through. There's no special like, oh, there's an, a glow coming from within kind of thing. But again, it's like $2, you know? Even if this were $10, I'd be like, oh yeah, actually that's not too bad. Okay, I would rate this... Oh, I'm so torn. Because I mean, for $2, I think it's pretty amazing. <laughs> so for $2, I think I would give it like a 10. <laughs> but if I were to look at it like a blush, I think it's okay. I would still give it maybe like a, a 7.5. I don't really appreciate that the product really goes to about here. But then this tube is like so long. Okay lah, two dollars. Not bad at all. Six dollars. I mean one, like six dollars. Not bad. Alright, let's us contour. So this is the shading powder in shade number two. Ooh, that's smooth. Wow, that's very buttery. 
Like when I put it on my hand, it feels quite subtle, which I like. But also, I can see that there's some shading going on. Okay, let's try this. So for the contour powder, it was quite interesting because when I first swatched it, I was like, oh, that's so buttery and the colours are really natural. But I realised that as I was putting it on, and I've been blending it for a fair bit, like it doesn't seem to blend very well. Like it looks a little bit chalky and it doesn't, it's not as seamless. Yeah, so I think for the contour powder, I would maybe give this like a 3. Because even though it's $2, like I think it's a bit like hard to use. Like you could probably like double up your eyeshadow. <laughs> Or double up like with your eyebrow powder or something, then you don't need, don't need to get another product. But like I think this is yeah, I think I'll give it like a three. All right, let's do the eyebrow powder. Oh okay, it's nice and compact, and it's also got its own little eyebrow brush. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do this with my own eyebrow brush. Oh, this is actually really quite nice. It's quite brown, it's got a bit of a red undertone. So actually my brows are already done. I've done eyebrow embroidery and she's so good. Her name is Bernice, if you're interested. And it's just like very natural. So um, I don't have to do too much here. But it's still nice when I like touch it up to play around with how thick or strong I want it. This is definitely super, super, super worth it. I think it's like super natural, the colour is great, very easy to blend. You've got the option of kind of like doing an ombre. I think these two colours are kind of, for me, like more workable and they do a great job. I would give this like a 100 out of 10 because it's great, it works and it's $2. <laughs> How many times am I going to say it because it's $2? <laughs> Hey, but two dollars like for makeup that works is really impressive. So uh, yeah, very impressed. Um, hundred out of ten. The CC cream I can see now that I mean I don't think it's like super oxidizing, but you can see more and more that it doesn't look like there's much coverage at all. So I think that's really something to bear in mind. But as a skin tint, I think it's really great, and also it might even work over another liquid foundation that you want to change the color off just a little bit, because the finish is really quite nice and very natural. So yeah. All right, what should we do next? Eyeshadow. So I'm just going to put on an eye primer now. I'm usually quite lazy about my primers, but like recently I've been putting more eye primer. All right, let's try this eyeshadow palette. This is the Blooming Eye Color Palette. And we also have the Eyeshadow Brush B. Wow, that's a nice mix of like metallic colors. Okay, the metallics are coming off not too bad actually. Currently, the two matte colours feel quite patchy, but let's see. Oh, that actually does show up. Oh my god! This is so impressive. I am really loving it. The colours look so good together. These two could work very well in the daytime, just as like regular, not so much colour, a bit of colour kind of thing. And this one I even use as a bit of a semi-eyeliner extension kind of thing. And it the colour payoff is really great. These two, I feel like... Like this one is up here at the moment. You can sort of see, but I don't think it blends as nicely with the rest of the shades. I think it's a bit too cool for it, but I'm really just nitpicking here. This one is up here. I don't think it matches very nicely with the rest of the colours, but I'm really just nitpicking, you know, because it still works. I mean, the colour comes out. It's alright as a highlighting colour, but I feel like it's a little bit flat and bright. I feel like this bright shade, like I wouldn't use that on top because I feel like it kind of makes the rest of the colours look a bit less expensive. In terms of like metallic shades, because nowadays you also have like metallic shades that have a bit more dimension to them and they look very smooth and they look very like, how do you say, ethereal almost. This doesn't hit that. But it's not a patchy metallic which you also get in some of the expensive like palettes, right? So this is like a very decent metallic range with lots of nice neutral colours which I think you can sort of use in the daytime as well and you can also like zhuzh it up and like go all the way for a night look and this would really work. Really very very impressed. I would give this a 10 out of 10. I can't believe this whole thing is $2. <gasps> what? It's crazy. Crazy! So this is the highlighting powder in Pearl Beige. Let's try this out. Ooh, wow! That is a highlighter! Wow, very bright! 
It's a bit silvery for me, but okay, let's try. Ooh, interesting. That is very highlighty. I think similar to this colour on the eyeshadow palette, I feel like it is more obviously not luxe. The highlighter kind of highlights that the pigments are not so refined or like... I feel like it makes it a little bit more two-dimensional, not as rich. Also, because I think a lot of highlighters these days, like the way that they mix colours and pigments and the shine is Thing on a whole new level. So I guess it's just a bit more obvious. But I think for me also is because I'm very particular about my highlighters and about my sheens. So I feel like I'm picking on this a little bit more. It's not a bad highlighter, I just don't think that it looks as beautiful or rich as say for example this the rest of this eyeshadow palette here. Okay, so I feel that for the highlighter and the contour, I'm okay without them. Because I feel like they kind of make the overall thing a bit chalky and just not as nice. For me, I feel like it spoils the look lah. Because the skin looks nice, the blush is also quite nice, and like you throw this on top, it just makes it look a bit more chalky. So I feel like I can do without it. Yeah, I'll give it a two. Alright, so this is the Marble Face Powder in shade 2. Oh, it smells alright. I think this powder is not bad. I feel like uh, you have to use quite a light hand because it can get a bit white. I don't think you can see it on camera, but I do feel that my nose, this area looks a little bit white, but it's got a nice pearlescent sheen. I think it, it does have a bit of a white cast, so I probably won't put it across like my whole face. Yeah, overall, I think it's not too bad. I think maybe for someone with fairer skin, this could be really, really nice. Uh, overall, it's really not really not bad. So I would give this like a 7 out of 10. Yeah, it doesn't have like that same kind of chalky feeling that the highlighter and the contour have. Yeah. So this is one of their top sellers. It's the lip oil in shade Pink Brown. My favourite type of pink and brown. Pink Brown. Okay, let's try this. Oh. Very slippery. This colour is beautiful! Oh, yes! It's the perfect MLBB. It feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel too oily, it doesn't feel too glossy, and it feels moisturising on the lips. And it's not just like sitting on top of the lip kind, like it really feels like it's penetrated my lips a little bit. This feels really good. And this colour is gorgeous, just like you've been biting your lips kind of colour. Like it feels like that kind but a little bit more toned down, like not as red, just a bit more like pink brown. I mean it's actually quite a hard colour to find. <laughs> it really is quite a hard colour to find. I, I have had close but sometimes a bit too pink, a bit too brown. This is like a beautiful shade. I really like it, it looks so natural. And I think the pink comes through really nicely. It brings like, like my lips look very healthy but also very natural and they feel nice. I would give this 100 out of 10 as well. Very, very nice. So pretty! Oh! Love it. Really 100 out of 10. I'm very impressed with this nice little makeup. That's it! A full face with just $20. I think my favourites would be the CC cream, the lip oil, the eyebrow powder, the eyeshadow palette. So apparently they have like 98 products and right now I am very interested in trying all of them. We actually wanted to try the eyeliner and mascara as well but that was out of stock but they also have nail polish, they have nail polish remover so would love to try them all. For me, I would split this up into would get, maybe, no need. Oh, very, very impressive. Okay, this one is kind of like here. Lah. Very impressed! Alright, we've come to the end of the episode. If you want to find out more about the products, how much they cost, where to get them from, you can go to Daiso, $2. If you want to get more updates, join our Telegram channel. If you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. Now all you need to do is sing ding, hit that bell, and you'll be notified every time a new video comes onto YouTube. Or you can just download the Click Network app. Alright, till next time, go be beautiful!